So now we're going to see how to use the eraser tool to help remove areas of the background in this picture. Now at the moment you can see we've been using the one tool and there's a particular area of the picture that's currently selected. So if I use that eraser tool and I start to drag that over the picture, nothing happens because it'll only work inside that selected area and well that's already been deleted anyway. So first thing we need to do is deselect the area. Now when I drag you can see that um, I'll erase certain bits. I can control the size of that eraser using this slider next to the size box and I can also give it a softer edge and so the softer the edge I get, the more kind of fuzzy it goes, gives a slightly softer thing. And I can control the shape, so make it square. Take the edge right down again. Really hard edge. So what I'm aiming to do is actually to take the size quite a way down and make it circular and zoom in a bit because I'm going to try and trace a bit of outline here. So the more zoomed in it is, the better your kind of motor control will be to get a good edge. And the trick here is to just do it in short little bits. Because if I spend ages following that edge, and then have a little bit of a whoops, then I can undo that, but I've lost a lot of it. If instead I'm doing quite short strokes, even little clicks when appropriate, then any little bit like that I can undo but I haven't lost a lot of work. So the aim is to create a sort of a channel or along the edge of the object or person that we're trying to cut out. And yeah, there we go. You can zoom out and see how we're doing. Let's zoom in and take some of this out. It's important to get the just the right kind of level of zoom. It always looks a bit bad when you're really zoomed in and you're doing that, but then once you've zoomed out, it kind of always looks much better than you expected it would have. And there we go.